Good day, dear students. Welcome back to our class. Today, we will be learning the two factors that supply energy for actions that are located within the Earth. Also, the factors that are usually driven by gravity or atmospheric forces. And these are the exogenic and the endogenic factors. Planet Earth is dynamic with a surface that is always changing. Rocks can be converted to another type of rock, for example, igneous metamorphy. These processes are shown in the rock cycle, which describes the ways in which rocks are slowly recycled over millions of years and transformed between the three types of rocks, such as sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. Now let us explore one of the factors. These are the exogenic processes that originate externally to the surface of the Earth and is driven by exogenic forces. Now let's see some of the examples. One of the examples of exogenic processes is weathering. It is the wearing down or breaking of rocks while they are in place. Another example of exogenic process is erosion. It involves the movement of rock fragments through gravity, wind, rain, rivers, oceans, and glaciers. We also have deposition. This is the laying down of sediment carried by wind, water, or ice. Now let us proceed to endogenic processes. It occurs beneath the surface of the earth and is associated with the thermal energy originating from the interior of the solid earth. Endogenic forces or endogenetic forces are the pressure that originates inside the earth. Therefore, it is also called as internal forces. These internal forces lead to vertical and horizontal movements and result in subsidence, land upliftment, volcanism, faulting, folding, and earthquakes. And these endogenic processes on Earth are the driving force for plate tectonic motion and for different catastrophic events. And also, it is also responsible for melting the Earth to create magmas. In my next video lesson, we will be learning the following. Explain where Earth internal heat comes from. Enumerate the different ways on how magma is generated and the classification of magma according to its properties. Lastly, recognize the important role of internal heat in the natural cycle.